My name is Sean Mars and I'm an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And in this video we're going to see very quickly how to split a bill of materials. So when you have uh, assemblies that are getting larger and larger, a lot of times it's very difficult to get your bill of, bill of materials to fit on one sheet. So what I have here is I've got this chop saw and there's about 50 odd components. So not a huge assembly but we're just going to use it as our example here. So I have a drawing sheet already opened and I'm just going to add in a bill of materials. Okie dokie. So ends up being a little big and realistically I could probably I could resize this to be on here but we're just going to use this one as an example because it'll run a little quicker with not too many components and then I'll talk about a couple considerations once we're done here. So um, to actually do the split it's very very easy. All you need to do is right click somewhere in your bill of materials where you would like to split it and there should be a split option. So you can split it uh, horizontally above or below. Um, vertically is splitting the columns uh, away from the rest of the table. So you can also do that. And if you're not seeing this split option, you might need to come down here to your customized menu and make sure this is one of the options checked. Okay, so let's actually split this. And now I can move it over here and I can have my bill of materials set out. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, why am I making a video about this? Well, there's just a couple things I wanna mention when we do this. Okay, right, so first off, uh, when you split your bill of materials, uh, it is going to duplicate all of the column headers, and there's also going to be a, the formatting will stay the same across the two tables. So if I change height or width, of my columns, that's going to push across all of my tables, and I can split these as many times as I want. So I can split it across many, many pa pages here. So uh, first off, on that formatting thing, um, usually that's a good thing. You want your bills of materials to look the same, have the same similar formatting, and that will um, be reflected if you go through this actual formatting menu. Um, it'll do the same thing. But just keep that in mind that that is something that you have to work around because sometimes, for instance, I have this very, very large assembly um, it's for this construction equipment. There's about 800 components in there. And so I had to split this many, many, many times. And what ended up happening is I went, got, finally got to the eighth sheet when I was done splitting it. And I didn't quite split them well, very well. And so now I have some uh, overlap here. So. Just if I come in here and I resize this, I set to keep in mind that that's going to resize all of my tables and all of my sheets. So there's no way to, to separate the formatting um, of just one of these split tables away from each other. So now all, everything should be reformatted to those new uh, column widths, row heights. Okay, um, another thing to keep in mind if I run back to our chop, splaw, chop saw here, is that um, it still treats is treated like a normal bill of materials. I can reorder um, rows if I want to. Uh, the one thing is I cannot reorder across my split tables. So uh, make sure you have your order the way you like it before you split this, because otherwise you'll have to merge them back together. Um, if you need to merge them back together, you just go ahead and right click, and there should be an option to merge the table, and you can merge all of them. So if, if I was back in my construction uh, bolter rig, I can merge all you know, 10 tables or whatever it was, or I can just merge it with the next table. So uh, if you need to change any of those orientations or anything like that, you will have to merge these back together. Um, another thing is if you end up using an Excel-based bill of materials, if that's uh, what you're using, um, the Excel-based bill of materials cannot be split in the same way. You have to do it on creation. So. If I go over here and I made another one here, we just did an Excel based bill of materials. Let me grab a template here. There we go. Okay, so when you're making this cell based uh, bill of materials, um, your bill of material properties are in this on insert. So you can't really get back to this menu. Um, if you can, uh, that's where you would come and split the table. So you have to choose how you're going to split it beforehand. Um, and then it'll, and then if you don't split it the way you want it to, or you need to split it more, then you're going to end up having to reinsert the table. 
Okie dokie. So, um, oh, and one other little thing. If you did want to hide the uh, header for the second tables, or the split tables, uh, it doesn't need to be an Excel-based one. So if you're using the SolidWorks uh, templates here, they're always going to have those header um, rows for each of the split tables. Okie dokie. I, let, uh, I think I went a little too long on this split table thing, so we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for uh, hanging out with me. And if this was uh, useful for you, definitely subscribe to our YouTube video or our YouTube channel um, or our blog. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a good day.